Tony behind this, and he will actually uh, catch up in the workers and get a second base. And that means that right now, here's on two base versus one base. That's a good position to be in. So right now, it's quite even, to be honest, even though the pros is a, a bit ahead in workers. But the pros will have the tech advantage because of the fact that he does have the robo facility. Right now, Winter is actually returning into gas again. We'll try to get more tech out. He really needs to get roaches out, at least. But with those uh, sentries out already, already four sentries out. Mother's core cool. and getting the mortar soon. He must get a ton of links and either Bane Nest or... Oh my god, Winter trying to move up and trapping so many links here. Winter is running in and trying to scout this. Hasn't scouted the, the Robo Bay yet. He actually scouts uh, one more gateway though. Running around. Does he see the Robo Bay? That's the question. He doesn't. And that is a huge thing. He doesn't know the incoming unit composition. That is just huge. And right now, Winter's trying to drone up, getting more and more drones. He's actually way ahead in the drones right now, but uh, History has stopped making drones. He'll actually go for the Doom push here. And this is so dangerous for Winter. Actually being supply bomb. This is so bad for him. Trying to scout. And he does see that the, uh, that the opponent does have quite a few units pushing out. He really needs to make those units count now. And here we go. Roach one on the way. Plus one on the way for Winter. But will they get the spine crawlers? That's a question. And oh my god, he's making so many more links now. He might actually uh, know what's going on. And history, he being so smart, making a pile on the low ground, showing I want to expand. And Winter sees that. He might think this is an expansion. He has to know if he <coughs> his opponent isn't probing anymore. So that means that right now. As long as he's not getting expansion, Winter's fine when it comes to the economy. Look at that, the income right now is amazing for Winter, but history, he's playing so well. Winter's getting a third base, this is the worst thing he could do. To, he's trying to get the Roach one out, but he may, he needs to make Roaches right this second. And we do see six Roaches on the way, but they will still be a really hard push. And now he sees the Immortals, he knows what's up, he has to cancel this base this second and start making some defenses. And oh my god, he isn't cancelling the base. Oh, there we go, now he's cancelling. And history is pushing, but he's already making two spine crawlers. Though they will not finish before the push hits, but he does have quite a few roaches. Wait, only six roaches? What happened to the rest of them? Did he actually lose them? I'm not sure about that. Hmm, we'll see. Anyhow, right now this is so dangerous for Winter. Trying to move out before those uh, immortals. Actually, it might be a good uh, opportunity here to uh, get some force fields off, but no. These Immortals are close to History's army and he will be able to push in. But Winter's Spine Course might finish just in time. He does have two uh, Queens as well to help out. And Winter has to hold right now. Great Force Fields from History though. Amazing Force Fields. But those Spine Course just finishing. He doesn't have much that can shoot though. Only those two uh, Immortals. And there's so much damage going down. One Spine Course already done. But two more are finishing and Winter from behind. Actually he might clean this up. It might look like it. And oh my god, is hit Winter going to hold this? It, it is so close at this point. He's trying to hold with drones even. If Winter holds this, he's in a prime position to take this game. But the history right now having so much stuff out. But these three Spankers helping out so much for Winter. And he might be able to hold this. But more and more warp is coming down from history. Here comes the Lynx. And the Lynx attacking the Immortals. And that's, that is great for Winter. He must kill the Immortals. That is the big thing. If he can kill the Immortals, he will be fine. But those Immortals are actually killing off one more spine crawler. And Winter losing so much. He's still ahead in workers though. And still two base versus one base. So he's in a great position right now. But still, he might not survive this. And here we go. Those things attacking. No force fields are coming down. Are there no force fields? There are a few force fields ready. And now he's using them, but a bit too late. But those Immortals though doing so much damage and they're still not dead. Nothing is killing them right now. And that Queen might go down and he needs every Queen possible. Not making any more Spine Cores. It's Winter. He needs those Spine Cores down. Now he's making even more links. And that Immortal still alive and actually regaining some shield. And Winter losing more and more units. But still, History is also losing a ton of units. It's so back and forth at this point. But it looks like History might push through at this point. Oh my god, Winter. He has to hold this. But those Immortals are killing so much. Look at 22 and 19 kills. He needs something to hold this with. Oh my god, Winter is losing so much. The force field on the ramp. And this might be it. Look at that history just pushing through. And right now we see so much damage going down. Oh my god, Winter. Are we actually going to lose this game? And it looks like history have done it. He's not even trying to expand behind this. And it looks like he just will try to kill his opponents. But Winter is looking really, really bad right now.
All the domes going down from the mineral line. He must kill this now. But it looks like he's going to lose way too many workers. One of the mortals might go down here to the queens. And he will get the immortal, but no more income. And some dancing back and forth by history. And GG, history takes the first game in the best of nine. Wow, that was... This is actually a really strange as my throw. Uh, give me one sec, I'm just going to uh, turn off the light. On, on the lights, not off the light. Yes, you see, it's really dark at the moment. So, uh, give me one second uh, while we wait for the next uh, map to come. There we go, and oh my god, my throat will not hold for this. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the second game here. The countdown has begun, and we are at 1-0. Here we go, on to Newcock Precinct Tournament Edition. And right now we do have From Poison Arch, Winter, and Denfan Toex, or also known as History. So History is his main name. Uh, he just uses a tag Toex, a uh, Toex. And right now, CVP once again. Here we go. Spawning in a bottom left position of Newcock Precinct. It is the Poison Arch player as the Purple Sug, Winter. And that's his opponent. Spawning in a bottom right position as the Red Pros. It's from Denfan Toex. And the good luck, good game, luck, good luck, with exclamation mark, coming down from Winter. And the good luck, good luck, good luck game coming down from Toax, if you just read the uh, aberrations. Anyhow, oh god, did I actually mess that up? Yes, I did. Whew. Okay, so, messing up the first time. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, the second game already, anyhow. And now you can see the good screen, and not just my face. I'm actually not that self-centered, even if you might think that. Anyhow, we are go uh, last game. If I just want to uh, get a few seconds to... Mm. Need some water for my throat. Uh, to just speak about that. So basically what happened, last game, Winter went for the temple uh, with the gas to get the speedlings out and did so much damage. And then History said, I am going to go for the all-in. Start, uh, stop making probes and he actually faked um, Winter so hard and forced him to actually uh, Oh, sorry didn't force him but tricked him into getting a third base which means that Winter right now um, You know he was tricked into getting a third base while he saw the all-incoming It was way too late trying to hold it some nice micro but he didn't manage to get those immortals uh, Which meant the doom for him basically so right now we'll see Winter uh, he, he just scouted for a proxy basically Saw nothing. Uh, this is a common place for proxies. Also here. Uh, he actually didn't scout all the way over here. So that was a bit of a mistake. But still, you know, you can also see a bit over here. You know, it's still uh, something can happen. So scouting very well for proxies. Also scouting over here. Just that, you know, small thing to do with your drone. A really good choice, you know. Because Toax, he could just get the second game like that. It, it goes so quickly. And oh my god, Winter, what are you doing? You, you madman! Uh, he, is he going for double hatchery before pool against a one gate? Um, ladies and gentlemen, we now have the greediest opening against one of the more aggressive openers. If Winter can hold this, if Winter can hold this, basically he'll be in an, in an amazing spot. If uh, History doesn't scout this, he'll be in a terrible spot. History, that is. Um, if... Now, history scouts this, like, let's say, with this one cellar. If he just runs out and says, hmm, I'm gonna, you know, just run for the third and hide him here right now and sees, wait a minute, there's a third base. Well, then we'll basically just kill Winter. Uh, that's basically how it works. Uh, if if you go for one gate expand and someone went for double a hash before pool and you scout it fairly quickly, you will be able to kill the Sug. Uh, I haven't actually ever seen a Sug hold that successfully. I think you might be able to, you know, with perfect engagement, uh, the pros messing up a bit and that kind of stuff. But if he's playing well, no. But we do see a really, uh, you know, standard Nexus going down from history. He's not going to do something aggressive. 
And I think he might not even scout for the first minute here. Uh, we're already soon to be five minutes into the game. He hasn't scouted yet. And already Winter has gone, gotten his three bases up. And he's just mining off everywhere. Could spray his drones out a bit. But actually, he's using this really smart method, you know. Having, um... Oh, sorry. My mouse has some stuff under it. Hmm. That's weird. Anyhow, sorry. Whoa, my mouse disappeared. There we go. Sorry for that. It's really hard being observer as casting as at the same time. But anyhow, um, we do see that Winter, he has um, these waypoints to the different bases. So he'll basically just fill up as much as he wants to and then just fill up the last base with the waypoints instead of having to split his drone. It's a really small, tiny thing, but actually gives him so much more mining. And because of the, all the fact that it's such a long distance here to here, uh... Already gotten the three queens out. Going to have uh, an amazing production. And now is his first scout. He has actually scouted the base here. So he should know exactly what opening it is. Because of the fact that he saw the timing of the Nexus. But this is the first time he actually scouts what's in the front. And because of the one forge. He knows there would be no forge pressure. And he'll be very safe the first minute here. And I think uh, he might have done it so far. Of course we're going to see here. We do see history already with a robo in the back. So... Hopefully, Winter will try to scout in here. Um, otherwise, that would be so bad for him. And actually, History is so smartly putting down a Stalker here. Exactly where you want that Stalker. But there's a second Overlord uh, going up to the top here. Won't see much, though, if he is going to scout over here. So that would be, uh, you know, quite a big of a mistake. So Winter right now droning like a madman. Almost like he was Liquid Red. And he's already up on... Um, no, it's actually only on, on two gases. So... Getting his second one right now, not too big of a deal. And we do see a plus one coming down from uh, history. So, basically, he could try to be getting a plus one timing. Um, or he could be trying to get, uh, like, a plus one timing. Or he could actually try to get, you know, just some macro builds going on. If he wants to really macro, he should throw down, um, you know, some more tech quite, quite soon. Like, a, you know, Robo Bay and that kind of stuff. Should see it fairly soon if we want to see some robo play uh he might you know get something else but here we go war prism on the way and i do believe because we see so many sentries it should be a sentry drop with plus one so basically what you do is you take the sentries into the war prism the war prism of course now they so fast just you know you can actually run over here somewhere just get over here and right into the main of the Zerg, force field that ramp, and then basically just kill off his entire base while you just keep force fielding that ramp. So, extremely hard to hold uh, if you don't scout, of course. So, go and see if that is actually what history is doing here. Uh, let's see, he's getting two more gates, three more gates actually. So, he's going to have a total of six gates and a robo. Six gate robo with a war prism. Loaded with sentries, it's going to be a sentry drop. And right now, Winter, has he scouted this? No. He hasn't scouted uh, this incoming. So he's, he's looking actually for proxy panels. I thought, you know, there would be some sick mind draining skills. But right now, we do see so many links coming down from Winter. 30 links already. And he is ahead by 10 workers. Uh, history, though, behind this is getting a worker. So he might not look to kill his opponent. A nice pick up here by Winter. Actually killing off quite a few more units. Uh, these cells, though, will kill the Sargonians so easily with plus one. So, basically, he can't engage more than that amount of Sargonians. And, whoa, did he scout that? I think he's running back, but did he scout that? That is the question. He must scout that, actually. And I think that he might just have missed it. And if he did miss that, that would be huge. But, no, he's actually sending so many links into the main as well as uh, more and more queens. So, that means that he should be able to snipe this. And here comes the War Prism. Winter sees it. it has so many uh, units inside here. Sniping off the War Prism already. And that is a ton of cells. But no, he will cancel it and actually kill the War Prism. And that is a huge hold from Winter. Well done. He actually spotted it with the uh, with the incoming Overseer. And actually hasn't been killed off yet. We're going to see that uh, History kills it off in Winter. Oh, that's a bit of BM, mate. But anyhow. <laughs> no, they're just, they're just cheering a bit. Um... Anyhow, Robo Bay on the way, plus two on the way, and another Robo. Robo. So we're going to see a uh, double call site in the making from history. So it's going to be really macro oriented uh, and just trying to get that, you know, death ball out, to be honest. And might go for third base or might push out. We're going to see later on. 
Right now, he's actually scouting with double hallucinate Phoenix. And now we go third. Trying to get, be on the way. But Winter finishing up plus one, plus one. It's going to be one, one against only plus one in just 20 seconds something. And that is way too many links. And this is something we do like to see Winter quite often just surround his opponent with so, so many links. And that would do so much. Like, it's so hard to hold with just gateway units. You have to have those call side or you have to have superior upgrades. And with the one, one finishing right now, his opponent won't have a superior upgrade.